We are days away from an end and a beginning. The end of the long process to create a medical marijuana industry. The beginning for the select companies and thousands of patients to actually use the drug. Based on other states, it might be a million dollar industry. And as our 11 News investigation found, that much money and that much government are the reason the rollout has been so difficult. GHB 11's Roly Hoyt illustrates why. If there hadn't been an insane amount of money to be made in this industry, would those people still have been ex as excited about, ooh, I'm gonna get in on the front, you know, on the front end of this? Probably not. Forgive attorney Quentin May for his skepticism. It's hard won after years as a trial lawyer. And ever since Amendment 98 said medical marijuana is legal in Arkansas, he's been very busy. As soon as I filed this, my phone blew up for two weeks straight. Everybody around the state. He filed a complaint and a lawsuit, accusing members of one family of trying to get an edge on selling the drug. When voters permitted Arkansas to join the dozens of states allowing cannabis, it touched off a 21st century land rush. Over the last year, year and a half, we've received uh, well over 30 to, to almost 40 total complaints. Many of the people that we talked with in the industry express a sincere desire to try and help people. They also express frustration over the way the Medical Marijuana Commission tackled the task. Once winners and losers in the cultivation and dispensary contests emerged, complaints started flowing in to the Alcohol Beverage Control Commission right away. Most have been dismissed, but a few continue, including the case of the Sears family. Don Sears, his wife Mary Frances Sears, and their son Todd, each individually applied for and won the right to sell marijuana. Each can set up their own shops in three different zones. Don Sears' doctor's orders shop is expected to be the first to open in the state, but on each of the family's applications, when asked specifically if they were affiliated with another applicant, they each put down no. That prompted a group who narrowly missed getting a license to hire May. The spirit of the amendment and the rule was that you shouldn't have three, regardless of who name, whose name you put them in. The attorney for Don Sears said that neither he nor his client could speak with us on camera while the legal matters are up in the air. Their response to the suit hinges on that important word in the application, affiliated. They have a history of this with the ABC. Public records show various Sears family members have interests in more than one liquor store, including this one in Cabot. Arkansas law doesn't allow any one individual to own more than one. Their lawyers claim different family members aren't necessarily affiliated. ABC enforcement is supposed to investigate ownership issues when it comes to booze. Now director Dora Lee Chandler will have the same role with marijuana. This can go back to what's the definition of affiliated and then uh, that information, the results will be presented to the ABC director. Ultimately, she's going to make the call on this. And if violations are issued, then she uh, has the determination of is it a thousand dollar fine or is this license revocation? The other bone of contention is Arkansas ownership. The amendment requires companies to have at least 60 percent ownership by in-state people. But how does a person from Arkansas get the expertise to start a business that until 2016 was illegal? Easy. You call in heavy hitters from out of state. That's what Lindsay Lovett Estes did with Grassroots, based in Chicago, according to their winning application. Estes is listed as the president of the dispensary that won the right to sell in Ward, but became the first to move to a busier spot in Little Rock. Um, and so our intent is uh, to move from uh, Lana into Pulaski. Um, the ask would be because there is no point differential in between the counties. The managers of Grassroots, which will now be at the former bar at Canis and Rodney Parham, would only answer our written questions and said Estes was unavailable to talk. Part of the reason? Grassroots and other out-of-state companies will rely on operating agreements signed with the Arkansas owners. According to May and Hardin, those experienced operators run the business. They pay Arkansans to be the locals on the paperwork. They might not get a true 60% cut, and so far the ABC says it satisfies the local ownership rules, but they are keeping an eye on it. Is the commission or the director going to have to make a call uh, and, and how to define these operating agreements? I, I think there will have to be a call made, although I think it's going to be based on facts. I think ultimately the, the look into this is going to go deep enough to where we understand fully where that ownership lies. And that just doesn't feel right to some of the would-be marijuana millionaires on the outside looking in. They followed the rules. They did what they were supposed to, only to see the system manipulated 
and perverted by a, 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 a group, a few group of people. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Roly Hood. In the face of those out-of-state companies are a handful of local entrepreneurs. And tomorrow, our 11 News investigation hears from them on why they got involved and what they hope to gain in the medical marijuana industry.